Hi everyone, this is Mohamed Sharuk and in today's stat pro tutorial we are going to solve another kind of verification problem and we'll compare the stat pro result with the manual calculation. Now in today's question we have a simply supported beam which is having three types of uniform distributed load and three types of concentrated load. So first of all we'll start modeling the beam in stat pro. So let's start. Let's start a new project. Select space. Let's give it a name as verification problem 2. Our default units will be meter. Click next. Select add beam and finish. Now, if you see, our beam is total 8 meters in length, and as it is a simply supported beam, there is one pin support and another one is roller support so let's create a beam of 8 meters in length let's add some cross section so I'll be taking a rectangular cross section of 0.4 by 0.2 meter let's assign this cross section to our beam element so let's select the cross section select assign to view and then assign to check whether the cross section is properly assigned or not you can go and check in the render view perfect let's close this so once our property is assigned let's go and add the support so as it is a simply supported beam we will add first pin support and we'll create a roller support. Check mark all of them except F5. Add it. Select pin support and select use cursor to assign. Assign it on the left hand side. Select the pin support. Again, select use cursor to assign and then assign it on the right side. So our supports are already assigned now. Next, we need to add the load let's go to load and definition load case detail click add let's consider all of our loads are under dead load category select dead let's name it as dead load and let's start adding different types of loads inside this category so our first load will be we need to create three types of udl first our first udl is of three kilonewton per meter which is starting from the start of the beam that is from the left hand side and it is going till the next two meters our second udl is of two kilonewton per meter which is starting from two meters and going to the next two meter uh sorry it's going till next four meter and our third UDL is starting after 2, 4, 6, 6 meter and going till the end of the beam. So let's create all of this UDL first. So let's go back to that load, add it, go to member load, select uniform force, 3 km per meter, okay, so minus 3. Now D1, which describes the starting of the load, so it is starting from the beginning of the beam so it will be 0 meter d2 will be 2 meter add it let's create second one so 2 km per meter udl is starting from 2 meter so for this reason we'll put minus 2 and d will will be 2 meters and as you start measures in absolute coordinate system this end you will calculate from the starting of the beam so it will correspond to 4 meter add it similarly create the next uh, I'm sorry we had a we made a mistake here so let's edit this and it should be 2 4 and up to still 6 meter change let's add the last UDL that is of 4 kilonewton per meter 
so it will be minus 4 starting from 8 meter and sorry starting from 6 meter until 8 meter and oh, okay we made a problem here it should be of minus 2 and 2 4 starting from 2 till 6 meter okay perfect all right and let's add uh, one more time number load okay minus 4 d1 starting at 6 and ending at 8 meter add it now once the udls are created let's create some concentrated force so our first concentrated force is of 5 kN and at a distance of 2 meters from the start of the beam so let's go and select concentrated force of minus 5 d1 which represents this distance will be 2 meter add it our second load is second considered force is of 10 kN which is at a distance of 4 meter from the starting so let's add it here minus 10 at a distance of 4 meter okay and add it and our third considered force is again of 5 kN at a distance of 6 meters from the starting of the beam so let's add minus 5 d1 will be 6 and add it close so our all loads are created now our next step is to assign this load to the beam so select one by one each of the load and assign it to view assign okay assign it right let's assign now consider it force you can have a visual actually here assign it and select assign to view okay so here you can see all of our loads are assigned now our next step is to run the analysis so let's go to analysis print and select print all the data add it close go to analyze and run the analysis should have for a zero error perfect so we have zero error so we can proceed for the post processing click done and let's check our shear force and bending moment value so as you know the quickest way is you can just select and double click the beam and go for shear bending so now this represents the bending moment along z direction which is coming as per stat pro it's coming minus 49 kilometer meter let's go and check as per our manual calculation so let's go and check perfect you can see as per the manual calculation the value for bending moment is the maximum bending moment is 49 kilometer meter which matches exactly with the stat pro result now let's check for the shear force along y direction so we can see our shear force on the left hand side is 20.25 and on the left hand side it is negative 21.75 let's go and check with our manual calculation perfect you can see it is 20.25 newton and in the negative direction or in the downward direction it is 21.75 newton which which is exactly as per our stat pro result so this verifies our solution and we can compare like StatPro gives the exactly val exact value as per the manual calculation. So I hope you like the video. See you in my next video. Thank you.